Babe, a Twitch streamer is coming for dinner. Get the good bottle. Ah, yes. Le Pogger. <laughs> That's so pog, mate. Freaking poggers wine. <laughs> Only the finest streamers can consume that. Hey, what's up, cuties? My name's Fainted, and welcome to House Twitter Free. Seriously, you guys tag me in funny tweets, and I read them out. Subscribe right now, or you literally will have to consume this grilled cheese sandwich. No joke. Can this guy leave me alone? And we got a text from someone saying, I made another grilled cheese, but didn't frick up this time. Uh, that's a melt, but go off, queen. Hey guys, check out the grilled cheese I just made. Do you see how stupid you sound? I love grilled cheese sandwiches. For reference, this was my last grilled cheese, which he also made fun of me for. Ha! <laughs> oh, that is diabolical. Why does he have sweet baby raised barbecue on the decorative shelf? Yeah, Zuck, uh, you're not fooling anyone, mate. <laughs> This guy's a cyborg, I swear. Ah, what do these humans put on their shelves these days? Ah, yes, barbecue sauce. To show that he is a normal human. Who loves normal human things? Like barbecue sauce. Because he needs it on standby. If he doesn't chug a boss at least once every three hours, he will die. Um, what? Buzz Lightyear? Has hair? What? Let me guess. He's gender neutral too. <laughs> Only bold people can have gender. I am the gender. Just right. I am the gender. This is easily the hottest thing you could do in 2007. Oh, yeah. Like, if that didn't make you want to go out and buy Halo 3, I don't know what would, man. Friend, I can't find his Insta. Me. Wait. <laughs> Someone's going on a little deep detective dive, are they? I think we've all been there, you know? When you want to try and find someone, you're just like, let me do my research. Just looked out of the window on my flight, bro. What the frick is this? That'd actually be so cool to see that, like, outside of the window on a plane, bro. <laughs> There's some covenants spawning in. I thought that was the top of this. What the frick? Elon Musk made $36 billion yesterday. That's more than most people make in a month. Like, damn. Yeah, try a uh, 100 lifetimes. It is fact, so, you know. When her hair is put up, and she leaves the two little strands in the front hanging on her face. <sighs> Woo! Girl, I'm not gonna lie, boys. That is a personal favorite of mine. Girls go from a six to a ten when they do that. No lie. What the frick? It got me like, oh no no. My mama when she told me to take the chicken out, and I forgot. <laughs> Be looking at them like. Hey, we've got crypto bros taking L's. Hey, Elon Musk, how much sheep are you holding? None. And then the sheep decides to then drop from 44 to 35. Oh, dear. Crazy, man. Elon Musk can just tweet whatever he wants and then influence the entire market, I swear. This man could tweet out, sold all my crypto, and the entire market would probably drop like 10, 20%. Hello, Bullet Store. Yeah, just one. We got Chipotle saying, just watched my ex's story from the Chipotle account. OMG, shut up. Yo, do you have a clown palette? Oh man, that's freaking savagery. I knew this app was toxic when someone posted their plane ticket and someone called and cancelled their flight. That's the most Twitter thing I've ever read. Logan Paul slapped some kid, but to be fair, the kid called Logan a pussy and deserved a slapping. Alright, we got some brand new Logan Paul boxing footage, fellas. Oh my, he called him a pussy? <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Freaking WWE out here, mate. What the heck? No. Oh, boys, I don't know about you, but so many little sussies going on here. <laughs> this is the bromance I like to see. If I was that kid, I'd be looking for a lawyer the next morning. You could get a couple M's off that slap. Yeah, I'm actually interested to see if this kid will press charges or not. I have no idea how it works, but still could be securing a bag. <laughs> that kid about to make bank. Me after being assaulted by Logan Paul. <laughs> Logan and his friend been sniffing way too many of that white powder. That ending was, uh, sus. Yeah, he was gonna kiss him, but remembered who his ex was. <laughs> Why the frick did Logan grab his homie in the end like he finna kiss him? Wait, you and your homie don't kiss? 
Okay, loser. Logan's first W, yes! Oh man. Gonna tell my kids this was Dr. Disrespect and Ninja. Oh my gosh, PewDiePie looking so fresh right now, man. Ordered the Gromit mug on Wish. What the frick? Oh my days. That is the literal Gromit mug right there. Instead of it actually being a Gromit mug, they just print it onto a normal mug. Okay. And some dude replies, Yo! And this dude's got both of them. Oh my days. He got the DLC and the map packs. Hey, yo, you want the Gromit mug or the Gromit mug mug? Um, I'll have the Gromit mug mug mug, I think. And that's right, guys. It's actually a Gromit mug mug mug. I'm done, bro. Guys, this is important. Twitter account rules. No flirting with my female followers in the comments. They're all mine. Don't comment anything funny. I'm the only one who's allowed to make women laugh on my page. No flexing. Don't try to impress my female followers. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at Fainted Sad. Just remember, abide by the rules, okay? Went to a kebab shop last night and spent nine pounds on 12 nuggets. Disgusted isn't even the word. Ah, that's wild, mate. I asked for 12 nuggets. The man said okay and pulled out the card reader. I saw nine pounds and at that point you can't say no. Oh dear, you could have spent that nine pound on Minecraft skins, mate. LinkedIn is really the thirstiest platform out there. Oh my days, so true, bro. And this reality versus LinkedIn meme just summarizes it. Reality, I got my driving license. LinkedIn, I am honored and thrilled to announce that I have been selected among the top five applicants who participated in professional and the most respected exam, which evaluates the skills and ability to operate fuel-based vehicles. I cannot wait to see what the next chapter holds, and I cannot express my appreciation to the Ministry of Transportation, Wendy's, Google, NASA, my neighbors who supported me during this difficult journey. Man, bro, LinkedIn is just full of people trying to flex, I swear. Why does every NFT look like an Xbox Live profile picture? NFT artists when I screenshot their douchey art instead of spending 12 billion dollars. <laughs> they really be looking like this. <laughs> there actually is people out there who'd spend like 10 million freaking Bitcoin for this, man. Honestly, I feel at this point, if you buy NFTs, like, it's purely just to flex that you have, like, an absurd amount of wealth. Like, yes, I just bought this picture of an ape for $10 billion. Very cool. Like, mate, if you got that much money, feel free to PayPal me, like, 50 racks. And I'm gonna go spend it all on Robux. The cashier thought I was giving him an invitation to Squid Game. Bro, I'd be pretty creeped out if I was a cashier and, like, some dude comes over with this kind of card. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're getting thrown in the back of a freaking van and off to the Squid Games. <laughs> I, I promise, I've never searched this. I, I was hacked. Guys, I was hacked. We got Tommy in it here, who's apparently been searching up George Not Found. George Not Found deleted TikTok. George Not Found hot. Uh, Tommy, I think, I think you might want to tell us something, buddy. And Schlatt just replies with this. <laughs> 70,000 likes, bro. I, I need this kind of Twitter clout. Remembering when I moved out my first studio flat, and I left a box of chocolates and some nice coffee on the side as a gift to the building manager, and got charged 20 pounds for the removal of leftover personal belongings. That's so brutal, mate. Trying to do a nice thing, you know, and then you just get freaking charged. Oh dear. I hope you're doing okay, Jamie, wherever you are. And here's some dude is in the freaking secondhand gaming store, and comes across this. From my girl and my world. Love from Jamie. <laughs> Clearly just handed it in for a sale. What happened in that relationship? What went wrong to the point where this guy was like, you know what? Screw this guy so much to the point where I'm literally going to get rid of this gift. Hand signed. Rest in peace, bro. Hopefully next girl you go out with is actually a cultured gamer. I organized a free how to write an essay session for the building where I'm staying. Full of undergrads. It was advertised in the building newsletter. Bought a bunch of pizza, nobody showed up. I'm actually so sad. And this almost brings a tear to my eyes, honestly, guys. Like, damn, bro. Just seeing those pizzas unattended to, all the chairs out. <laughs> Next time this Mark dude wants to invite people out for a free how to write an essay session, guys, please go and take part. That's actually really upsetting. Like, who doesn't want some free food, man? Um, what? And this dude tweets out a little picture showing off that Mr. Beast got 10 million likes on his TikTok. So he's going to recreate Squid Game in real life, okay? 
And then this dude says, I hope he's actually going to recreate it like the show. Some deaths would be interesting. Yeah, something tells me Mr. Beast's not going to be murdering people in this next video, man. But I don't think he's going to be getting very many ads on that. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click on the screen to check out more. And, um, bro fist.